it's clear that the government distorts and does not tell the full story on anything that's going on in this country. But you can file under a FOIA to get the full story from the government. This video is about filing for FOIAs. This is Bill at HHF News, and today I want to discuss with you one of your basic rights that you have that the government doesn't want you to exercise, and that's the right to speak and petition the government for a redress of your grievance. And what do you do and how do you do that? Well, it used to be you go take a petition around and get 20 people to sign it and then send it to the government and then watch them throw it in the circular trash can because they don't have to do anything when you send them a petition. But there is one way you can demand information from the government and demand that they take action, and that's to enlighten you. You have the right to file what's called a Freedom of Information Act request to many different government organizations that, in essence, demands upon the government that they produce documents and information that they have about subjects that you decide you need to know more about. Filing what's called a FOIA, Freedom of Information Act request, is very simple. You can go online and you can download instructions, you can download sample FOIA letters, and then you can copy and paste and put in the name of the FOIA officer that you can look up on the internet and have that person respond to you about your question. Now, if you're afraid to do it because you think that the government will take retribution against you, fear not. You can send HHF News an email and detail to us what question you want answered, and we'll send out a FOIA for you, free of charge. Yes, we're not afraid to ask the government anything. At Highland Hill Farm News, we send out lots and lots of FOIAs. We are not taken back by the government's attempts to stymie us in our quest to find out what's going on. There's a lot of information being deleted and hidden in the government. A classic example is when Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State, she used a private email server which was in her house to store and hold her emails and then she never gave them over to the, the Department of State. And so when people went and asked the Department of State, hey, we'd like to see Hillary's emails, they didn't have any. Well, we all know she has emails. But she was, you know, negligent in trying to hide them. And now she will probably never be president because of that scandal. But don't let that worry you. There's another way around it. And if you just think a little bit out of the box, okay, here, for example, you want to see Hillary's emails and the State Department won't hand them to you? Get a hold of her email address and then create an email letter and send it to every government agency that you can with a FOIA request asking for that specific email address, any information that they have that concerns that email address. Now, that may seem like a real simple copy, paste, and click, and it's done for the IRS or for any other organization that, that you send the email to, but it's not. Because from the government's perspective, that's a very difficult question to answer because it's not easily determined through their servers. They may have to go to a private contractor to find that email address in their system in order to send you the answer to the FOIA. It could cost them a lot of money. It could cost them up to $10,000 for each email that you ask and request for them to investigate for you. And you have the right to know because it's part of the law. It's called the right to know law. You have the right, a sunshine law. You have the right to know what your government's doing. You have a right to know what they're saying. You have a right to see what the government's doing. Because after all, you own the government. It's not that the government owns you and that you work for the government. They work for you. Now, when you send those FOIA letters out, believe it or not, the people that actually respond to the FOIAs are professionals. They want to do their job and they'll, they'll attempt to the best of their abilities to answer the questions that you present to them. Thing is, you don't want to abuse your right to ask these FOIAs because you don't want to do frivolous FOIAs, but you do not have to worry. You won't be persecuted because of it. Don't worry about that because if they do, that's a lawsuit and you'll become very, very wealthy. And the people that do that could be subject to criminal prosecution. So don't let them, don't let them, you know, worry you. But if you do worry and you want somebody to do the FOIA for you, 
Give us a call at HHF News. Give us a call at 215-651-8329 or send us an email or stop in at our location at 5275 West Swamp Road. At Highland Hill Farm, we raise over 200 different kinds of trees and shrubs, and we can ship as well as we can deliver and plant from many different places. We have locations in Fountainville, PA, Lenore, North Carolina, and McNinville, Tennessee. So call us at 215-651-8329 for all your tree and shrub needs. Thank you.